Oof. What's going on YouTube? And today Today we're going to be showing you how to not raise your car. So early on throughout this week, and we might as well go ahead and go on story time. So let me go that let me go ahead and do that in the next clip. So you know I was coming back from school and whatnot, and this right here happened. The tire blew out, and yeah, it was pretty sad. So I ordered some new tires. They're not gonna be 30s anymore. Remember those skimp, skinny tires that I've been talking about getting rid of? And for me to be able to actually wear those, I'm going to have to raise the car because this and this will not fit a 40 if this is a 30. Right? Right. I have more gap, but the tires should be in maybe hopefully this week. I actually need them so I can start actually driving this car to somewhat of a potential. I haven't really been driving for the last couple of days. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to not do it. The reason why I said that is because my my wrench for the coilovers bent and I only have one. So we're gonna be using this thing on the floor to adjust them and that's not a good idea so if you're watching this please use your wrench adjustments but I will show you the path and the direction that you need for you to raise or lower your coilovers but I will not be lowering anything I will be raising today so <clears throat> I hope you guys like the video if you're new to the channel of course subscribe I post car video content on my beautiful beautiful 350Z so Let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Right? Right. Okay, um, correction, you're gonna need to do, dang, I think I'm moving slow, correction, we have more tools to, um, use to do this, because my lowering jack is too low, and his doesn't have the, what do they call it, a saddle? So this is how we're gonna be doing it. Oh no. So we have the lower profile jack that will be um, raising the car up a few inches to use this jack because A, we don't have a saddle in here and there's a saddle in this one, but it won't fit as you can see. So this one fits quite exceptionally, but it won't be able to hold the car up because it might slip and slide. So yeah, this is a kind of dangerous yeah then we're also going to use these to support the car after we raise it so we can start messing around with the rear so first things first we're probably not starting on this side we're going to start on the other side and raise the car because it has the actual wheel on and this is probably an 18 inch and my wheels are 19 so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this video and start with this work Probably not gonna have no sound. <laughs> I'm trying to do a slow motion edit. <laughs>
All right, so now that the car is sitting on the jack, uh, I guess properly, we're gonna go ahead and start flooring that coil over over there. So you guys are gonna watch me fail in trial with that fire. It worked before in the front, so those are really, really hard to do. So we're gonna try the same thing for the um, <clears throat> rear. These are easier, so let's go ahead and get to it. So we have raised it up. It only took really like two minutes, but we we're talking and wasting time and shit. So this is what it looks like. It gave it a huge difference. We have, I can put my finger in here now. I don't know if it's gonna fit 40s yet, though, but we'll find out. But we're gonna go ahead and do the other side because it's gonna start getting dark pretty soon. So I'll see you guys in a jiffy. All right, next. All right, next. Um, we're just gonna lift this side up, and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Uh, pretty straightforward, turning it and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get started. It's starting to get dark, and I think I said that already before. But we're gonna waste the time talking. This is way easier than the last job. We've only been out here for an hour, so let's do this side. Yeah. Alright. Last wheel's done. Let's see what we do. Dang, it was already touching this one. You didn't even do nothing, bro. You really just put your trust in this jack. I psyched out, bro. It was part of the plan. It was part of the plan. I don't know what he's talking about. All right, moment of truth. Three, two, one. Shit. Oh, well. Anyways, all right, the car is done. Drove it around to see what the alignment's like. I'm still gonna do an alignment when I get back with the tires and put down the height to where it needs to be. But it's so high up, man. I did the right a little bit higher than the this side. Let me see if I can give you guys a better look at this. See how slightly raised in the rear. Just a little bit. Good focus. You guys can see it. I don't think you guys will be able to see it. Yeah, you can. Just a little bit. You see the, see the little the little angle to it. But yeah. Um there's lots of gap now. Pretty much a lot of gap. I can stuff my whole hand in here. Like all this is my hand. Yeah. It's done. That part is done for prepping the car for new tires for the 40s. Probably gonna end up um, dropping it lower again when I get the 40s, but I'm not gonna ride like this forever. I'm probably not even gonna drive the car after today. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. You guys are gonna see me when I put on the tires. Um, thanks, this is JD and Nittle. I'm getting off, logging out, whatever you wanna call it. Peace. Also make sure to like, and subscribe if you're new and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.